Hey guys, yo, what's up? Welcome to Jump Inside Gaming News, where we give you all the best bits of news related in gaming in the past fortnight. Let's get started. Payday 3 will have an always online requirement. Payday 3, which is playable in single player and multiplayer modes, will ask for a constant active internet connection so that cross progression and cross play can be supported. You will be able to play by yourself, but I do believe you will have to have a connection in order to play. Because it's made in Unreal Engine and has cross progression and cross play, I do believe we need you to be online, said Starbreed's global brand director, Almir Listo, answering a question about offline play in a live stream. Payday 3 will have crossplay. That is very cool. I do love that. In case you're not quite sure exactly what that means, that means you'll be able to play on Xbox with someone on PC in the same lobby. So that's cool and that's really awesome. But that does require you to be online all the time. So yeah, we are in an internet age. I don't see that as a problem. We're pretty much all online and there's probably going to be no issues. But if, for instance, the connection drops or if you live in an area where you have bad internet, this could be an issue for you. Now, presumably, a lot of people have connection to the internet these days. That's how you're watching this video. You will have some sort of connection online to see me right now. So therefore, you probably are fine. But in any case or any scenario where there may be an issue, then, you know, for example, if you still live in an area where the internet may not be great, it might be an issue when playing this game. As if you like doing high solo, you need an online connection to do it. Presumably, this shouldn't be a problem in today's modern world, so I don't see how this, even if it was an issue, could be an issue. So, either way, the more better news in this is that this game will have crossplay. Yes, I love that. Anyway, moving on to the next piece of news. New Spider-Man 2 PS5 console and controller revealed. If you've been holding off on buying a PS5 or simply weren't able to get one for the first couple of years, PlayStation has a pretty good deal for you. PlayStation is releasing a limited edition Spider-Man 2 console bundle and it looks pretty slick. Yes, that looks amazing. Here's a picture of it on screen right now. There you go. And moving off the screen, it looks amazing. What do you think about that? I mean, to be fair, I absolutely love Marvel. So this could just be me and I absolutely love Spider-Man. I don't have a PS5, so I'm definitely within that realm of if I do get one, this could be my console. I do like the look of that. I do, uh, I do applaud the design in that. That looks really cool. Anyway, there you go. That's the PlayStation 5, the uh, Spider-Man 2 edition. I love the look of it. Uh, moving on to the next piece of news. Red Dead Redemption Remake leaks hints release date is sooner than expected. It seems increasingly likely that Rockstar is working on a remake or remaster for Red Dead Redemption, a game that originally launched in 2010. Recently, a new content rating appeared on a Korean rating website indicating the game may be coming back in some way. Now, a Twitter user claims to have specific details in referencing to the remake release date. And if true, we could be very well playing an enhanced version of Red Dead Redemption this year. Red Dead Redemption Remake We've had a lot of remakes from Rockstar, from uh, GTA 4 to San Andreas, and now we're considering having a Red Dead Redemption. Now, I'm not against this, and I would really love a remake and a re or a remaster. It would be awesome to have that as a game. I, I do love that idea, but where is Grand Theft Auto right now? Where is GTA 6? Where is that in the pipeline? Now, um, it's been roughly, give or take, um, nine years and 11 months since the trailer properly dropped. So I'm thinking now we are in the realms that we may hear some more GTA 6 news in the future, but I have no idea. Either way, that's not this article. This article is about uh, Red Dead Redemption getting a remake. And you know what? I absolutely love a remake. I l would love to get my hands back in that game in a remastered version. That game is awesome, and it's as awesome uh, as Red Dead, Re Dead Redemption 2. Both of those games are just awesome. They are, they are really, really cool. Um, uh, the, the adventures you take in the Wild West in that game, um, 
the the story of the game it's incredible it has one of the best scenes in any video game if you've ever played the game so if you know that you know what i'm talking about but yeah that is the game hopefully that is is all true hopefully it does come out this year i'd love to play that game but either way there you go that's rockstar for you that is red dead redemption yeah, awesome. Next piece of news. Some Starfield Constellation Edition pre-orders may be getting cancelled. There are several different editions and pre-order options for Starfield, but the Constellation Edition is by far the biggest and most expensive option available to players, including lots of digital and physical extras. It's definitely the edition for the most hardcore fans with cash on hand. Despite the high price tag, the Constellation Edition is still getting pre-orders, but some gamers are experiencing some problems with these purchases recently. So yeah, the Constellation Edition. There's some pre-order cancels now i have read the article and in the article does said that microsoft are looking into this they are aware so that's a good thing and obviously it's something that they want to sort out because it's one of their biggest games this year so yeah obviously they want to sort it out but so i wouldn't worry too much i'd imagine that the moment they get this sorted out your pre-order will get back in and it will work out that is if you have pre-ordered which edition have you pre-ordered i do not know of but uh, I have not chosen my pre-order. I'm still thinking about which order, what pre-order I should get. Um, I'm excited about the game. I'm really excited. I haven't pre-ordered anything, but I'm just excited about it. And I can't, can't wait to see uh, what the game is when it comes out. Now then, um, that was the news. Hopefully you enjoyed. Which part of the news interests you the most? Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and comment down if I've missed anything. If there's anything that you've seen throughout this week or the past two weeks that is of interest to you, you can more than welcome, you can write it down in the comments below. That would be really cool. And I'll probably read through all of the comments. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye.